All right, welcome back. We're on the home stretch, and um, we're going to take a look at the papers. Uh, but well, let me quickly get your thoughts. Uh, okay, it's been a while you've been here. Uh, when, um, when you heard that Daniel Akpay um, got, got injured, though he's back now, made mm. a winning return, his mm. team in the Premier Soccer League played against Kaiser Chiefs, mm. one of the biggest games in South Africa they yes. won. Another Nigerian, Jay, like James, it. of course, that was mm. named and MVP. So he made a winning return. But when you heard that he was injured, um, were you worried? Oh, okay, um, on the human part. No, no, just talking about the super egos now. No, no, that's what I'm saying. On the human part, I felt for him being injured. It was for every player to be. If any player that is injured, it's, um, it's a bad thing for them. Okay. Because it's not easy for you to be injured and come back All to right. the level you were before you went injured. But I haven't said that. Uh, being injured as, um, as a team for super egos, we should, we should have alternatives. Okay. If a player is injured... Yeah, Daniel like Pei, even injury is a little bit inconsequential in the sense that he has not been on top of his game. So you were so not worried. That's just where I'm going. To I'm not worried as a we're Nigerian, as a Super Eagles fan. I'm not worried okay. because he has not staked the claim for him to be our top goalkeeper. Let me ask you Cecilia's favorite question: <laughs> hmm. Name three goalkeepers. Snap your fingers and name three goalkeepers that you take to the World Cup. What? I'll beg for Vincent Yama's return. Oh, okay. Okay. One. Okay. I'll uh, beg for Vincent Yama's return. Case closed. Let's look at the papers. Okay. And passes as well. All right. All right, Wally. Thank you and very much. If he much. doesn't return. <laughs> if All he right. doesn't return. Okay. We go with the ones we have. And, um, and he's going to be one of them. He has to. Eh, well, it depends. I don't think the coach will force him to return. Okay. Because he might, might bring another thing into All the right. team. Okay. So you have to be very, very <laughs> yeah. careful. But if he returns, Cecilia, let's face the fact. You are playing a center defense that is inexperienced. They've not been there before. We let them trust Ekong and Limbalogun. When it comes to the international level, the World Cup level, they are green on. You need a goalkeeper that's been there. That's seen it. And if you don't have him, them. what happened? That's the question that's we're asking. We make use of what, what we Minus. have. Okay. Okay. We make use of what we have. All right. It's not, it's not, it's not well, compulsory. Let's allow that issue rest. Okay. Um, let's go to the papers. Complete sports uh, is what uh, we start with. Uh, a lot of stories about the Super Eagles. A proposed friendly uh, with England. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, Messi. Comments attributed to Messi on the front page of Complete Sports, the um, Thursday edition, says Nigeria are uh, unpredictable. He's played us a couple of times, so uh, I guess he knows uh, what he's saying. A lot of other interesting um, stories. Eagles to begin World Cup camp in Abuja or Uyo. Uh, which one of these stories gets you talking quickly? You're pressed for time. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about two. Um, Eagles play in England. Well, it's normal. When you're on the top of your game, the top African team, England will always look for you to okay. so play them. Because I know they'll use that one as a test for, for their group. All right. So that to test the African opposition. Okay. That's good for us. The quality of opposition is good for us. Now, it makes our players to feel what it, it, it is to be at the World Cup. All right. At the friendly level. Do at the friendly level. But they can take that spirit to the World Cup. Okay. That's one. The second part, Messi said we are unpredictable. Yes, we are. He has played, played us like four or five times. He has won all. He has been on the winning side. But this time around, I think our players should take it as, a, as, as, as an honor to change the trend. We must not lose to the to Argentines. But Cecilia, after, I would say it, and I've been saying to people, Argentina is not a problem. We know them. They know us. Our biggest threats, there are two threats we have there, Iceland and Croatia. Okay. Do you understand? All right. The East, Eastern Europeans, they're highly technical, organized, disciplined, and focused. Okay. Those are the big games that we need to focus to on. All right. Because okay. we're playing Croatia first. Once we lose that match, we're or once we play, we'll be in trouble. Okay. So we must go all out to battle the Croatians because in the midfield, they are loaded. When you have Ivan Rakitic, Luka Modric, <laughs> Klanic, you understand? All Ivan right. Perisic, you understand? Mario Mazzucchi, well, they are loaded. So we it. as a team, we have to go there and, and up our game all right. and perform and make sure that and we ensure yeah. that we are not first game at the I World agree Cup. with you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take the last paper spot in live. But Wally, we want to thank you uh, for your time. Always good having you uh, with us. We do this thank you very much, Amy. I'm always at a service to come around. Okay. Channels have been a good platform for me to <laughs> All right. express my views about Nigerian football okay. and world football in general. Thank, thank, thank you. you very much. All right. Yeah, yeah so uh, that's been the show today. Uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Bye-bye now. And I'm Cecilia Morgan.